Welcome to the video tutorial of Flipkix. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a perfect image using a photo optimizer, using our photo link optimizer. So, let's start. So, I'll be logging using Facebook because I signed up using it. But if you signed up via email, I'll recommend you to sign in with email. So, let's start this. I'm into my dashboard as you can see this. To use Photolink Optimizer, I'll navigate to Photolink Tools and I'll go to Photolink Optimizer. <coughs> now, it will you can upload any image or you can fetch image from a URL. You can select from your uploads. Let's say I select from my uploads and I'll select this image. Now, as you can see, this image is not the size you want to post. So all you can do is you can add a blur in the background and you can either add a solid color in the background. I like the blur feature so I'll be using it only. So, so this is the most basic feature of a photo link optimizer but there's a lot of there's a lot that this tool can do. This is a very strong tool and I'll show you how to use it. So I'll be choosing a new image. Okay, the changes will be lost. I'll upload an image this time. Okay. So this is it. I uploaded this image now you can also see the various previews that will be available using the app preview as you can now see this is a preview you will be seeing in desktop this is a preview you will be seeing in ios and this is a preview you will be seeing in android facebook renders image differently with different devices and that's why the preview is different for different devices as you can now see the android preview is not dot that good we are not happy with it image is getting distorted so what should I do now should I go ahead and post this I don't think so don't worry we got you back just click on smart while optimization and your image will be optimized as well now go to every preview and just check this out this is for desktop this is for iOS this is for Android now this image looks perfectly fine for Android but what about desktop or iOS right I and mean, I may have users there also so how to create an image which looks best for desktop, iOS and Android. Mind my word, this is also, you just use this feature when most of your audience is on Android. Don't use it if most of your audience is on desktop or iOS. So now to create an image which looks perfectly fine for desktop, iOS and Android, I'll go back to editor and I'll simply add a solid background, okay? Now I can add my logo and I can choose a transparency let's choose one okay. I choose this I'll reduce its size I can play with its transparency and I'll, I'll put it here I'll put it at the bottom I can also add caption to the image let's say hey there right I'll bring it at the middle so that it looks good I can change the text size I can make it bold italic and I can even underline it I can change the text color to whatever I want I'll go with I have black because that's what I like I can add strips I can add strip at top and I can add strip at bottom let's let's add one at the bottom I can play with the strip height let's say 60 I can even change the strip color right now I can add play buttons so these are the various play buttons you can use to get more clicks and more engagement but I won't recommend you to be using them while running Facebook ads because this Facebook consider it misleading when you're running Facebook ads so this is the best option for running organic posts but for running Facebook ads I won't recommend you to do this you can also add click elements let's say I choose this one I don't know why I like this okay I can add a call to action let's say click here. right and place it here now as you can see you can add the text color of the CTA and you can even change the background to anything you like I'll go with black now as you can see just go to every preview and go to desktop this is a perfect and wonderful looking photo 
go to iOS, this is another good photo and in Android it's standard. So you have created an image which looks good for desktop, iOS as well as for Android. This is a pretty good image. Now I'll go back to editor and I'll add to library. Your image will be added to library and you'll be seeing this successfully saved to your library. Click here to create a link using this image. Now you can click here and you can create a link using this image. This this I did using smart mobile optimization and various options I was provided. Thank you so much.